speaking in public is a challenge and a challenge I believe must be accepted. What do you think? Speaking in public means having sleepless nights, nervousness, deadlines and many rounds to the toilet before you are just about to start. Am I right? Have you ever been on freeze on stage? I have been freezed on stage once when I was in school. So today I want to share with you 10 powerful tips that's going to help you speak better publicly. Hello, my name is Archita and welcome to BM English Academy. Stay tuned to the session when I share some very important tips with you. So let's get started. The first tip. The first tip is that you need to prepare your speech well in advance. A good speech is like a pencil. It must have a point to it. You need to prepare your speech by adding some good vocabulary to it or maybe you can add some daily life examples to it. Trust me, if you add examples to it, you will be able to connect to your audience better. Second tip. The second tip is you need to practice your speech. Maybe you may practice your speech in front of the mirror or maybe you may practice in front of your friends or family. Practicing your speech will help you to deliver it better. Third point. The third point is the way you walk on stage. Imagine I have to deliver a speech on the stage and I walk by dragging my feet. Will that leave a better impression on my audience? No, right? So the way you walk gives the first impression on the audience. So you need to walk smartly by lifting your feet and with a big smile on your face. The fourth tip. The fourth tip is you need to be confident and greet your audience nicely. You always before starting your speech, you need to greet your audience. Fifth tip. The fifth tip is that always you need to have a big good smile on your face. Imagine I am delivering a speech and I talk like this to my audience. If I talk like this to you, I'm sure you must not uh, enjoy my speech, right? So you need to have a good smile on your face. The fifth tip. The fifth tip is you need to maintain a good eye contact with your audience. I just cannot look down or I just cannot look off into the space. Imagine while delivering my speech, I'm delivering it like this. Maybe looking up or maybe looking down. Does that leave a good impression? No, right? So you need to have an eye contact with your friends. And just don't fix your eye contact to a spot. You need to maintain an eye contact with the entire audience looking around at the hall. Right? The sixth tip is the way you stand on the stage. Imagine if I'm standing like this on the stage, balancing on my one leg. Does that look impressive? No, right? So the way I stand on both my feet with a confident body language gives you a confidence and it also gives a confidence to an audience in what you're speaking. The seventh tip is that please, please don't fidget with your hair or maybe with your clothes. A lot of us have a tendency that when we are giving a speech, we have a tendency to either fidget with our hair, fidget with our clothes or maybe fidget with our fingers. I know you all have this, but we need to improve on this. Don't fidget with your hair, clothes or maybe with your hands. The eighth tip. The eighth tip is never, never cross your or fold your arms and stand. This gives a sign of a nervous body language. So your body language should always be confident. Folding your arms is a nervous body language. The ninth tip. The ninth tip is the position of your chin. Remember audience, whenever your chin is too high, it shows attitude. And whenever your chin is too low, it shows nervousness. 
So you need to practice a lot in the position of your chin. Practice in front of the mirror till you till the time you get a proper position to your chin. All right. The tenth tip. The tenth tip is the closing of your speech. Always end your speech on a good note. Greet your audience. Say thank you and have a big smile on your face. So I hope this 10 tips must have benefited you to speak better in public. Remember these tips and I am sure you will excel in this. Stay tuned for the next session. Till the time I share some more good tips with you. Thank you. See you soon. Have a nice day.